Salut mes amis, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Okay? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? On est dans Today we're gonna look at the top 10 best swear words in Quebec. Swear words are very personal. I don't expect these to be the master list, okay? Let's start with the obvious one. Number 10, we have Chris. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris. The more I say it, the harder it is to say for some reason. This word means Christ. Uh, it's kind of similar in English, you can say Christ, but I feel like it's a touch, a touch more severe in Quebec just because they're more attached to religion. I don't, I don't know, that's what people have told me, okay? So it means Christ. It's not really that offensive, to be honest. That's why it gets number 10. Number 9. Osti. Osti de cave. Hey Philippe, osti de cave. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? This virtually means uh, host. The direct translation is host. Almost all of these relate to Catholicism, the Catholic Church, items you might find, terms you might find, Christ, host. Basically, it's just using religious terms in vain, which I guess is super, super offensive. I think it makes sense when you look at the history of Quebec and how prevalent Catholicism was in the country. In the country, yeah, you wish. You wish, Quebecois, huh? You wish it was your own country. <laughs> if you're a separatist and you're watching, you must be happy by now. You can say osti, you can say sti, you can say esti. <laughs> There's so many ways to say it. I don't know why. Next one. Now what, number eight, we have a very hard one for me to say as a anglophone because we just don't have that sound apparently. Tru, tru de cul, cul. Tru de cul. Tru de cul. I think I nailed it that time. Basically, it's a butthole. Well, you want to know what it really means? It means asshole. It means freaking asshole. Tru de cul. Obviously, I can't. I can't even use this. But hopefully, you guys have better pronunciation than me. If you're Quebecois and watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for butchering your language. Numbers. Number seven. Perhaps the most popular one in Quebec. Tabarnak. Tabarnak. A tabarnak. For the direct translation, once again, we have a, a reference to Catholicism. A tabernacle. You know what a tabernacle is? How dare you say tabernacle? It's very funny for someone outside of the country. Oh, I keep saying country. Quebec is part of Canada, okay? Province. It's very funny for people outside of the province because it's just an object. It's like if we were like, oh, chair. Chair! What are you doing, man? You stupid chair face? Just makes no sense. Tabarnak. But you can use this pretty much any time, any time you want. You're having dinner with your family. If your mom is sitting across the table from you and she's mouthing off at you, like usual, just throw her a tabarnak. At number six, sacrément. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Sacré Bleu, huh? Huh? You Moby Dick fans out there? Bloody hell, maybe, is a good way to translate it. Then again, I'm not an expert. I don't know why you're watching this video. <laughs> but this is what I have learned in Quebec, all right? Yeah, not much to say there. Sacrément, another Catholic swear word. Number five. Ciboire. 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 What the frick does that even mean? Ciboire is pretty much like tabernacle. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad to say. Don't say this to your mom. Okay, but if your mom is around and you still want to get out that frustration you have with the world, just throw down a cibole. Cibole, tabarnak, you could say tabarnush, ciboire, cibole. It's like the cute version, the cutesy version. Still don't say this probably in a normal situation, but if you're an Anglophone, you kind of get a pass because they don't expect you to speak much French. Actually, they do expect you to speak French, but they'll not expect you to speak it well. At number four, this is actually a, a French swear word, like from France, but I thought it was interesting to include since the Quebecois put their own spin on it and they even spell it differently. Mouth. You might know it as Merde. Ah, uh, Pierre. Merde. That's my impersonation of French. But here we say Mouth. Much more powerful, much more guttural, much more Quebecois. And it's T. Basically, this means poo poo. Well, it means sh shit. Okay, caca, hmm? A ce qui nous aime, puis les autres qui mangent la marde. Number three, va chier, which basically means like piss off or like fuck off or go take a shit, go fuck off, go piss off. And interestingly enough, this is kind of on a tangent, but if you were Quebecois, you will probably say fuck off. For some reason in Quebec, saying fuck off is a very normal thing for them. Now, if you say fuck off, you don't realize how 
how offensive that is to English people. That has a lot of weight. It's kind of equivalent, I think, to niaise you, which is like you're being dumb in, in French. So they, they use it interchangeably, much to the chagrin of us Anglophones. Okay, we don't appreciate that. Va chier. Use this in the most extreme situations, okay? Number two, one of the most potent swear words of all time. Are you sure you're prepared to use this? This word will resonate throughout the valleys of Quebec and you will see your opponents kneel before you. Use this word with the utmost of care. Calis, calis. Je m'en calis, man. Tu n'aimes pas, tu n'aimes pas quand je dis ça. Je m'en calis. Very offensive. Going in line with all of our Quebecois swears, or at least the majority, it is related to, guess, the Catholic Church, a chalice. Cain Arthur was searching for a swear word, okay? The Holy Grail. I guess a chalice and a grail are different. Isn't it so bizarre that the Quebecois use nouns to swear, basically? If you're afraid to use such a powerful word, because you might destroy whoever you're talking to completely. You can always tone it down a notch and say, call in, call in, call in the bin. You can say something like that. That would be much more gentle on them. And it might even mean that you're kidding around. So keep this in mind. Now for the final and most powerful of powerful swear words in Quebec. Okay, I don't think I can say this out loud. And I'm just gonna do this once, okay? So here it comes, ready? Sus. Sus. Sus mon Quebec. Okay, I said it more than once. It's so fun to say. Sus mon Quebec. Sus mon Quebec. <laughs> it feels so good to say. Now, you're probably all wondering what the f does that mean? Well, one of my coworkers says this all the time. Thank you very much, coworker. Suck my Wayne, kind of, but suck my Quebec. So it has kind of like this pride, nationalistic pride in, embedded into it. Sus mon Quebec, you say that to, I think an Anglophone would be the best situation. I feel like it would be appropriate to say sus mon Quebec to me. And then I might respond with, well, suck my Alberta. But it doesn't sound as good, you know? Sus mon Quebec sounds amazing. It'll break down anyone you talk to. They will be on their knees begging for mercy. Actually, they'll be on their knees. <laughs> They'll be on their knees for another reason too, I'm realizing. Bad analogy, they'll be on their butt. So what do you guys think? Do you think I hit some of them on the head? Do you think my accent sucks? Let me know. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Now, Sussement Québec. Sussement Québec, puis Vachier, okay? Okay, Jean-Philippe.